to me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, you who have been born from me by birth, and have been carried from the womb, even to your old age I will be the same, and even in your graying years I will bear you. I have done it, and I will carry you. And I will bear you and I will deliver you. Father, we are your people. And tonight as we put this history music upon the wax here. Tune in, and we tune send in, it tune out in. to the season and we send it out to the nation. But we send it out to a generation no, 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 no. declaring your sameness, declaring your inability to move, declaring how that your heart doing? is how consistent, doing? your name Come is consistent, on, your power consistent, integrity consistent, even from ages we'll to ages, bit, we'll you have in. been the same. And we thank you tonight uh, that your people don't bow to the trend, hallelujah, and your people don't bow to the culture, your people Come don't on, bow to the culture. Facts. They don't bow to the statistic. They don't bow to the wind. They don't bow to the current. They don't bow to the assault. They don't bow to the attack. They don't bow to the persecution. They don't bow to the pressure. But we bow tonight before the one true God. The one who is hey, the same. Hey, 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 hey. How y'all doing carry tonight? Even now. You're carrying them through economic crisis. I just got off of... A Zoom, a couple of Zooms tonight. I had to get on and talk to my people. Oh, child, I can't go live with nobody. I don't know your spirit, my baby. Hello, hello, TikTok people. Girl, get up and heal. Let's have a little chat, chat, chat. Where y'all from? What y'all got going on? Do y'all have time for this little word? Girl, get up and heal. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Come in the room. Let's talk about it. I'm not going to be before y'all long tonight. I just wanted to jump on here and say, girl, get up and heal. It's time to walk in purpose. It's time to walk in what God called you to walk in. It's time to heal and let that go. Let that toxic residue go. It's time for y'all to move forward. It's time for you to get it together. It's time for you to stop fumbling the ball, sis. It's time for you to stop fumbling the ball and get this course together. I made you. You made me a plate. Man, what kind of plate, Sha? Yes, yes, yes. What kind of plate you made me? That just threw me off completely. How y'all doing today? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Girl, get up and heal. How y'all doing? Healing from toxic relationships. I'm ready to talk about it. I need somebody to jump on here with me. Yep, I've been waiting on you to come pick it up. <laughs> I am welcome, welcoming. Um, I'll, I'll go live with somebody on here while we talk about toxic relationships. Get an open forum going. You know, since I am launching and promoting my boot camp that's coming up. Healing from toxic relationships. And I just wanted to jump on here and say, girl, get up and heal. And stop fumbling the ball on your destiny because you hurt and heartbroken. Let's heal that and get right. Let's do this. Let's stop fumbling on the ball. I think people don't understand, like, when you go through a, a horrible breakup or any type of relationship issue you have with somebody, I don't think people understand that you have to heal. You have to have time to heal yourself, to forgive, to let that bitterness go, that anger go, that anxiety go, that hate go, you know? And I think if you don't handle it, it lingers on into something else. So my title for tonight is Girl, Get Up and Heal. You know, you sitting in a slump in toxic residue when you need to be walking in purpose, when you need financial freedom, when you need to be helping pull other women up, but you so caught up in your in yourself to where you don't even know that you need to be healed. And everybody in your life see that you need to be healed but you. 
So if you jumped on this live, you jumped on here for a reason. Stop throwing in the towel, sis. I need y'all to get it together. I need everybody to get it. Come on in the room. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I have a I have a boot camp out right now. The link is in my bio. It's called Healing from Toxic Relationships. The reason why I came up with this boot camp is because God dropped it in my spirit a week ago. I'm just doing what he told me to do. I'm just being obedient to what he told me to do. I am called to help women. That's one thing about me. I'm called to help women in ministry and business. That's the two hats that I wear. Um, my misery has become my ministry for women that have been hurt, been in uh, toxic relationships, um, childhood traumas, things like that. Um, I started on TikTok a long time ago, but maybe a couple of months ago. I jumped on TikTok. I, I did a viral TikTok about um, how to know when you're healed and set free and how to accept that knowing that you're healed, that you're glad that God stopped that relationship. You're glad that God allowed them to break your heart. you glad that God allowed things to happen the way they did. <clears throat> and it happened to go viral. And then shortly after, I went from 300 to 22 to 20,000 followers overnight when I dropped that uh, TikTok. Had no clue. I was just driving in my car one day down the street from work. And God was like, I was just thinking about how far I had came in my life and how much I had healed drastically over the past two years after getting out of a five-year relationship that was completely toxic and horrible. And um, I was driving down the street in my car and God was like, get on TikTok and talk about it. And I was like, I don't even have no followers. Nobody go listen to me. Nobody care about me and my story. And sure enough, God was not wrong. I got on, I did that TikTok I closed out TikTok, y'all. I got, I got on TikTok the next morning. I hit one from 300 to 20,000 followers. My inbox was beeping and full. I didn't know what to do. Women was like, oh, my God, thank you. Oh, I need help and this, 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 and this. So I started a little series on healing and forgiveness, and they did really well. So I decided instead of me answering all these inboxes that I'm getting back, that I would actually do something constructive and create a boot camp to help women it's going to be something small. I don't want no more than 50 women in it. Something small. I started to where we can all be intimate on a live Zoom and we all talk about our stories. We're going to work on um, healing, forgiveness, and walking in purpose. We're going to, we go to work on also shifting, shifting your mindset and accountability is really the most important steps of healing from toxic relationships so that's the things that we're going to touch on in the boot camp healing forgiveness walking in purpose So the, the purpose of healing from toxic relationships is me standing in the gap spiritually for y'all to help y'all not say, make the same mistakes I did that kept me in the healing process for two years. So if it took me two years, that means it's going to take y'all two weeks or two days or two months. I went through it. I went through the process. So your process, since you tied to me, won't be long and hard like mine was. So when God dropped that in my spirit, I was like, no, I don't want to do it. Like, I don't even know. So I like to be obedient because I know when you get outside of God's will or you disobedient, like nothing good come from that. 
And because I have a healthy fear of God, I'm going to do what he said. And I don't care. We got two, 10, 20, or one in that healing from toxic relationship boot camp. Somebody go get set free because I did what I was supposed to do. And I feel like if more women invest in their healing on the inside instead of worried about the outside, it's good to have nice hair. It's good to have, you know, lashes, nails, all the other stuff. But I realized I felt a whole lot better about myself when I did the inner work. Because you can, I can be a pretty face all day, but if I got all types of hell and turmoil and torment and bitterness going on the inside of me and rotting of my heart because I won't forgive and I won't revenge and I won't let go, how am I going to grow? I'm just going to be a pretty face that's hurt and can't attract nothing good that God got for me in my life. Can't even walk in my purpose because I won't get healed and set free. People invest in what they want to invest in. And regardless if people invest in it now or later, at some point, you're going to have to invest in getting healthy. You're going to have to invest in your freedom. You're going to have to sacrifice some time to worship God. You're going to have to sacrifice some time to read the word. You're going to have to sacrifice some friendships, some relationships along the way. To, on the road to purpose, you're going to lose a lot. But when I tell you God give you double for your trouble, baby, I'm not kidding. God always give you double for your trouble. He will not allow you to go through hell and turmoil and damn near losing your mind to bring you to a place of lack. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. If if I can heal, anybody can heal. I don't have years to waste. I just turned 50 and I'm a survivor. No, six. Girl, that can be alive right there. I'm a survivor of a five-year relationship of narcissism. I don't think people understand what being with a narcissist does to you. It kills you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. It makes you question everything about yourself. It makes your self-esteem drop. It's so many things that's why people should invest in therapy. That's what I'm going to say. If I had a therapist when I was in that, I wouldn't have been in it. But let's be honest. Sometimes God will show us the red flags. Tell your neighbor red flags. And we will still say, oh, I'm going to see for myself. And then when we see for ourselves, we're in a corner crying and upset. Because the person we, we chose for us, God didn't choose for us. And then God got to allow them to hurt you for you to get a wake-up call for you to do what you're supposed to do. And it just don't be... You know, uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, man, woman. It can be a toxic relationship from a parent. It can be a toxic relationship from a sibling. It can be a toxic relationship from a friend. Anything that ends in ship can be toxic. And sometimes you don't even know you need healing. If you ever go through a, a point in your life to where you wonder why you stuck, you stagnant, you can't get free. You can't get nowhere in life. You don't understand why you're attracting the wrong people. You're repeating the same lessons over and over and over again. That means you need to stop and do a heart check. That means you need to stop and do the work. You need to get into a place, a quiet place and say, God, I hear you. What's going on with me? Why can't I move forward? Why I'm not functioning who you called me to be? Who do I need to let go? And I also did a TikTok on dangerous prayers. When you pray prayers, let's be clear. When you pray prayers to let, for God to expose the people you need to let go, make sure you're ready. Okay? Because nine times out of ten, it can be your current spouse. It can be a family member. It can be your best friend that you used to do seesaw with in the playground. And y'all that roll, y'all that ride and die together, roll and die, roll and die together. It might be them. Because sometimes the people you surround yourself with can stop you from your purpose too. See, God can't bless you when you're surrounded by leeches and vultures. I had to learn that. Within six months to a year of my life, I prayed a prayer for God to remove every one that was stopping his will from being done. He removed my five-year relationship. He removed my best friend of 10 years. He then removed another friend of six years and then told me to leave my kindred, told me to leave Louisiana and move to Atlanta alone by myself. So in this season, he can work on me. And ever since I got here, I have walked in purpose. Ain't nothing been hard. Ain't nothing been a struggle because God had to dang near kill me in Louisiana and drive my resources to get me to say, okay, I need to do what God told me to do. And when I told you, tell you he made provision for me to leave, it was a smooth transition. Mind you guys, I'm a single mom. Ain't miss a beat. Not on government assistance. God made a complete way for me to leave, find a perfect place for me and my children. 
and here here I am. Here I am. Now, mind you, I got a lot of stuff to talk about that I, the warfare that I did have to endure to get here. But that's something I'm going to talk about in the boot camp. I ended up with PTSD and severe fear and anxiety. Well, baby, let me tell you something. God did not give you the spirit of fear, but a power and a sound mind. And you got to, sometimes you got to speak that over yourself. God did not give me the spirit of fear, but a power and a sound mind. Fear is going to be there. Nine times out of 10, anything, anything you do, you're going to have some type of fear, but you got to use that to your advantage. You can't let that overtake you. And I would just suggest you find a therapist because sometimes, you know, it's good. The Bible even says seek counsel. It's good to worship and pray over yourself and speak life over yourself and surround yourself with powerful praying people and friends. Thank God that I that I'm surrounded with every everybody God removed. He replaced with a prophetic friend, a praying friend. A friend that I can call at one in the morning and they can go in straight tongues and pray me out of something. Friends that can cover me and stand in the gap for me and I ain't got to tell them much of nothing. I'm I'm grateful because a lot of people don't have a support system to where they can be like, look, I need help. I can't stay. I will revisit if you're still on. That's okay. That's okay, girl. Just come back tomorrow. I'm going to be on here every night promoting the healing from toxic boot camp because everybody, people need some help. The way y'all inbox is looking... People meet some. I got my man on hold, Lord. Hold on, babe. Hold on, babe. Okay. Okay. Child, I got my man. <laughs> my man on hold. I, the, the Holy Ghost that took over. But um, heal it on toxic relationships, y'all. If you if you don't need it, tell a sister, tell a friend, tell your auntie, tell your cousin, tell somebody. Because I'm doing this, God is pouring. So every day, God is pouring stuff into me. It's like I'll be working, and God will tell me something. I got to hurry up and put it in my notes. Because people need to get free. And I feel like I'm not going to beg nobody to invest in themselves. I'm not going to beg nobody. Because nine times out of ten, majority of people invest in things on the outside that they don't. don't. Sitting in a mansion and still need to work on yourself and your healing. And still be miserable. Thank you so much. This is my first time hearing you. I was in an abusive relationship a couple years. Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing good about no abusive. Oh, Lord, girl. That When I was married the first time. I'm not married yet, but I'm speaking into existence. I'm going to pop back on here. Marriage, y'all going to see. My first marriage, my husband was abusive. But I didn't know that the reason I took that is because I had daddy issues. That I settled for that because I didn't have the right people around me to tell me and to teach me or a good example of what a man was supposed to be or how a man was supposed to treat a woman. So I just kind of settled because I was stuck in a religious spirit of I'm supposed to submit to my husband even though he whooped my ass. But see, that's, that's going to be in a boot camp. We're going to talk about that in the boot camp. I'm learning self-love. Yeah, let me, let me tell you something. Once you get to a point to where you love yourself, you comfortable by yourself, you happy with yourself, you can sit in complete quietness and be okay with your thoughts and yourself, and you can go to the movies by yourself, you can go shopping by yourself, you can go eat by yourself, you are comfortable by yourself, that's when God usually opens the door for that, for that amazing relationship. Trust me, ask me how I know, but I'm going to tell you about that later. First time here saying, currently going through his treating me like dirt but he he got caught he got caught first time here same currently going through he's treating me well i wouldn't advise you to allow anybody to treat you like dirt because you're you're a daughter of the most high and if god don't treat you like that why are we allowing people to do that why are we putting ourselves in situations they got a billion people in this world and probably a million of men that will love you right treat you right adore the ground you walk on and you wasting time with that demon A.K.A. distraction that the devil then sent to you to keep you off your uh, purpose road. Then you'll catch that later, sis. After you get healed and you get to, I'm at the point now to where I'm like, I wasted so many years on the wrong people. I may, I wasted so many years allowing people to treat me any type of way and not know my worth. I will never waste time again. Everybody destiny that I'm helping was tied to me. And I was in disobedience for years. Sitting there taking stuff I shouldn't have took that I knew better. All the red flags in the world. I was blind to like Stevie Wonder. One thing we have to learn is to forgive. Oh, yes. You got to. Let me tell you something. Me, me and him have a child together. I don't, I don't. I'm not upset about it. I'm not upset with him. I'm not mad at him for doing nothing. Because I know that I'm fighting against 
principalities, what's in him, not not hit not him, but what what he allowed to manifest in him. Once you understand that you're not fighting against flesh and blood with people, but principalities, you're going to have a whole new outlook on how you deal with people. When people have an attitude, when people angry, when people upset, that used to be all of me that I'm naming that because I ain't perfect. But when you deal with people with people like that, didn't hurt you. I can I can I knew that I was completely healed when I find myself praying for him all the time. Praying for God to reveal things, praying for him to have an encounter like me, praying for his protection, praying for his peace. You know, stuff like when you can start praying for people that hurt you, you know, you got to a place that you won. You won. You won because number one, you healed. Number two, you escaped it. Number three, you're on the road to purpose. And now you can even cover them. I can smile and laugh with the same people that talked about me, drag my name through the mud, probably still going to talk about me after they leave, walk off from me. I'm telling you, let me tell you something. Healing and peace. Like no other, I can't even explain how I feel. Once you get through them toxic relationships, you let them toxic people go and know that everybody that was sent your way happened for a purpose and that people need to learn seasonal does not mean lifetime. Seasonal people do not mean lifetime. We be trying to put seasonal people in lifetime positions and wonder why we got hell. Nothing go right with them, but we want to look cute. And post these pictures. Let me tell you something. We, I was posting pictures. People thought we was the perfect family. And I was going through hell every night. Cried myself to sleep every night. Was depressed all the time. Didn't know who I was. Didn't know my worth. Didn't know who God called me to be. I was on a one-way ticket to hell. Let me tell you how good God is. God, at the end of the relationship, I had started getting back right with God. I mean, I would worship. I would lay on the floor, just be crying out to God, worship music playing. He would come in the house, walk over me and walk out. Cause you know, the devil can't stay where God, where God is. Child. God sent somebody from my past. When I finally got the, the balls to be like, I can't do this no more. God revealed every, everything he needed me to see. I mean, everything. It didn't hurt me. It was confirmation. Shortly after that, somebody that was in my years, uh, in my life a couple of years prior, before me and him started talking, God put me on their mind. That girl called me and said, God called me to, God told me to call you and start praying for you and for us to connect again because you was on a one way ticket to hell. And if God did not allow him to hurt you and y'all to go through what you went through, you was going on a one way ticket to hell and your purpose would have been dismantled. And mind you, I hadn't talked to this girl in years. In years, let me tell you something. When you really submit to God and you you see God even in your worst time, even in your worst part, even when you're going through the worst things you're going through, and you seek Him, He still give you grace and favor. Be like, okay, I know my child messed up. I know she ain't listening to me, but I'm gonna go ahead on, and I'm gonna still do what I'm supposed to do by her because I got purpose for her. So I'm gonna call this person that she don't even talk to no more. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to bother this person until they do what I told them to do to call her, to pull her out of it so she won't be on a one-way ticket to hell. So now that I look at it, I wouldn't go back and repeat no pain I went through. I wouldn't go back. I, I would go back and repeat everything I went through because I know it got me to this moment. Every abusive relationship where I was in, every beating I got, every depression state I was in, every night I cried, I wouldn't change nothing that led me to this because, because of the encounter I had with God. I did say a prayer for my ex, Nark, but I try not to think about him because it brings me to a dark place where you don't need to think about him. You need to get to a place to where you can pray for him and not think nothing else and keep going. So that, that, that means you're not there yet. I knew I was healed from him when he got sick and I took my trip. Okay. I'm telling you, the peace of God passes all understanding. All understanding, but I did not let, let me tell you something. I'm not going to do like I did last night and be on here a whole hour with y'all. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. All I know is that a lot of y'all have registered. Okay. And it's about to be, be mind blowing. We about to get healed. We about to get set free. We about to get strategy on how we need to move forward. Now it's not going to be easy. It's never going to be easy because the devil never wants you to walk out of his plan. The devil, the devil never wants you to get rid of the person he, he placed in your life to be an op for hell. So it's never going to be easy, but you got to you gotta push past the pain. You got to push past everything that you know to get to your healing. It's almost like you running away from a murderer with a knife. 
And you got to do everything you can do to get away from him. That, that's how it is in the spiritual realm. You got to run as fast as you can, chasing God, covering yourself daily, praying, worshiping, reading the Bible. I don't care if you got to read one Bible scripture a day and meditate over it. My suggestion would be to read, so I read Psalms 91 every night. I always plead that over me and my kids. I always tell God, thank you. You don't have to be, you don't have to pray to God any type of way. Just like I talk to y'all, this is how I talk to God. Is no, is no way, is no right way to talk to God. God just wants you to seek him. He got too, it's too many women that got purpose. Too many women that come, come across my page, my, the TikTok comments, the lives that have purpose on their life, but y'all stuck and stagnant. Because y'all refuse to heal, y'all refuse to deal with it because it hurts to deal with stuff. It hurts to deal with you. It hurts to put up a mirror to myself, to yourself, and be like, oh, it really was my fault because I chose to deal with it. It was my fault because I chose to ignore the red flag. People don't want to do that no more. People just want instant healing. It don't work like that. What time will you be on tomorrow? The same time. When I can because I have, you know, clients outside of this um, that I do Zooms with in the evening. So, when I usually when I can get on here, it's 940 my time in Atlanta. So around no later, but just, what'd you say? Um, that, let me tell y'all something. My man must love me. He been on hold 28 minutes while I did this. And I was just supposed to do this for five minutes. I'm going to be on tomorrow around the same time. I need y'all to go register for this healing with feeling from toxic relationship boot camps is going to be saturday november 6th at 6 p.m i don't know how many how long we're going to be on there but we're going to be on there long enough to you know that you go walk in purpose you go walk away with some strategy you go walk away with some scriptures to meditate on you go walk away with a whole new outlook on how you need to carry yourself to get to purpose because too many people tied to y'all destiny for y'all to be out here in these streets still hurt upset bitter stuck stagnant and, and everything else but i'm not gonna go there tonight what time thank you god bless thank you it's all god it ain't me it's all god i promise you because it was up to me i don't like going live let me just be clear i don't I, it's i don't really like going live but i'm comfortable doing it because i know that i didn't go through all the hell i went through just to be quiet and i say nothing because if god did this miraculous 360 in my life and i don't tell nobody i'm gonna be held accountable for that so I have to get on here and do this. Like this, this is kingdom. I have to do this ministry. Ministry, I have no. I don't have no choice. God, God did too much for me for me to not to get on live. I mean, thank you. You're very welcome. So y'all need to go heal from. Go get. Go on that link in my bio. Click heal from toxic relationship boot camp and go get. Go get set up. And if you don't need it, I completely understand. If you in a place a heal a heal place like me, congratulations, sis. But th that means you still need to get in alignment so you can help pull other women up. Because everybody go through something to pull somebody out of something. Ain't no way God gonna put you, go allow you to go through the process for you to just come out and be like, oh, okay, I'm healed and go about your business. It don't work like that. You got work to do. Don't fumble the ball, sis. You got work to do. I mean, I'm, well, I'm glad y'all came on this live. Share this live. I don't know how to save this live. I'm going to try to save it. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. All I can see is the comments. Don't know how many people on here. Don't care. Because when one or two are gathered in his name, it is so, it is so. Um, thank you guys for tuning into my live. I appreciate you guys. I am Saved Bay. I came from a mighty long way. God pulled me up out of the slumps and just did a 360 on me. God been chasing me for the past 10 years of my life. And I finally stopped two years ago and said, I submit to you and your will. And once I did that, life has been great. God has blessed me with everything my heart's desire. God has made a way for me to help women. God has made so much provision for me. God has been good to me. And on top of that, I got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is like walking around with a friend with strong disarmament that point out people be like, no, no, and no. Holy Ghost is like a warrant. Like, it, once y'all get the Holy Ghost and God, child, life is going to be amazing. I want y'all to listen to this song tonight. It's called Yahweh uh, off the Come Alive album from All Nations. I need you to do whatever you do at night. Get to you a quiet place before you go to bed. Read Psalms 91. Just listen to what I'm saying. Read Psalms 91. Listen to Yahweh. But I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Go find a go to the boot camp. Register for the link. Y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Bye.